What's the real secret to using Japanese candlesticks in your trading strategy? There's a lot of misconceptions about how to actually use Japanese candles to make profit. Today, I'm going to show you the ultimate secret to how you can use Japanese candlesticks for trading that will enable you to get consistent profit using Japanese candles the right way. So let's get started. When you're looking at a chart and trading, using Japanese candlesticks is the best possible way to display price action data. It's the foundation for all other types of technical analysis. But there are a lot of misconceptions about exactly how they should be used. This is MetaTrader, simple choice, bar charts, line, or candlestick charts. And then you can customize the color and so forth. So displaying price data using candlesticks is a pretty basic thing on all charts. Charts that I most recommend or use nowadays would be MetaTrader 5, TradingView, or here on Motive Wave, the options that I have. This is currently displaying candlesticks. Sometimes I like to adjust the space in between the candlesticks. So here I have all of these options, candlesticks, Candlesticks trend. 3D candlesticks gives a slight 3D quality to the candlesticks. Candlesticks hollow. Candlesticks flat. Or you have the various types of Heikinachi candles. And in the beginning, when people look at those, they think that that might actually help. But I find that it's more useful to have the regular Japanese candlesticks than the Heikinachi candles. You can try them, take a look at them side by side. You should be able to see what it is I'm talking about. If it's designed to, to keep a trend all one color, but in doing so, it kind of messes up some aspects of the candles. I prefer to have a, a more accurate view, which I get through Japanese candles. So once you actually learn to read the market, the interesting thing is learning to read financial markets is a lot like learning to read a book. Imagine that you're learning to read a book and the book could be a nonfiction technical manual or it could be a book of classic literature. So as you're reading this book, if someone told you that every time when you're reading a book, every time you see the letter L, it means that the main characters of the book are going to fall in love and start kissing each other. Then you're looking through books and you're going, oh, they're doing it there, they're doing it there you can see that's not very accurate. Or if you're reading something technical in a technical manual or a memo from your company and someone told you that every time you see the letter D, it means you need to report to the main office immediately. We can see that that's not accurate and that the person who is suggesting this is probably illiterate themselves and that's why they're guessing that these are the means. So it's the same with Japanese candlesticks. It's a beautiful way to display price data on a chart, but after you learn to read the market, you will probably never be looking at individual candles in here and going, oh look, there's a, a hammer or there's a, a doji. There's a doji right there. That means the market is going to reverse immediately and it doesn't mean that at all. All these things, that's not what means anything. What really has a meaning is the shape and the pattern of the overall highs and lows that you're looking at there. For instance, if I take this little piece of the market right here, I'm on the one hour, I can see that that is an ABC correction, that there's a trend inside of each of those waves. And if I go to the 15 minute, I will be able to actually view those so now I can see this is the perfect shape of a trend. I've made quite a few videos and you know, there's the perfect shape of a trend once again. And then this is a correction to that trend. And this is a pattern that we know as an A, B, C, where the A is a trend and then the B is a, is a correction and then the C is a trend again. And these things just keep forming over and over, but as I'm looking at this, I'm reading Japanese candlesticks, but my eyes are never focusing in on, oh, look, that candlestick right there. You know, that's, see, that's not a bearish engulfing. 
Perhaps if I change the time frame, it might display a bearish engulfing, and that's just almost irrelevant. What really is relevant is to see these shapes. So I assume that everyone is already familiar with what Japanese candlesticks are and how to read them. For instance, if the candle body is the color of white, blue, or green, or the color that you chose for representing a bullish candle, you know that the price went up during that period of time. If the candle is black or red, or the color that you chose to represent a bearish candle, you instantly know that the price went down during that period of time. And this is the main reason why Japanese candlesticks are much easier to read than bar charts. Instead of relying on these tiny little notches that stick out of the bars representing the open and the close. It's actually a more recent innovation on bar charts to even change the color from the bullish color to the bearish color because originally they are all the same color and you had to rely on those little tiny notches and it uses a part of the brain that makes it not intuitive not really user friendly with Japanese candlesticks relying on the change of color or the change of the body of the candle being filled or not filled black or white the brain quickly adapts to this type of symbolism making reading financial markets easier and more intuitive. So the next step for a new trader will be to learn the different types of Japanese candles and their names and the meanings within market price action. In the beginning, everybody will learn what is a doji, what's a bullish engulfing candle, or what's a hammer. How about the three Buddha top? Is that really a specific Japanese candle formation? Or is it just a chart formation? Three white soldiers, tweezer tops and bottoms, dark cloud cover, hanging man, morning star, evening star, the harami pattern. All this information is readily available and none of this information has much to do with the ultimate secret of how to get profit using Japanese candles. But before you can learn to appreciate classic literature, you have to learn to read and write using the English language or whatever language you read and write in using the letters of the alphabet. And that's what Japanese candlesticks really are. They are the letters of the alphabet in the language of reading financial markets. So when you're just learning to trade, go ahead and spend a week or two familiarizing yourself with the various Japanese candlestick formations. And if you want to go ahead and Memorize the different names and look at them on charts and notice for yourself what they mean. But then after that, there's a next step where after you learn what the individual letters of the alphabet are, you, you're not going to go around looking for the letter D and saying that means something in a piece of literature. You're going to look at the overall shape of the highs and lows. And you're going to see that you'll get the best results by taking your attention off of the individual candles and instead look at the overall pattern and the shape of the highs and lows. That is how you read the market. Now, when you see this shape, you don't need to look at any individual candles, but the meaning is far more accurate and useful than memorizing the various names of the Japanese candlesticks. With experience, study, and practice, you can develop a higher level of skill for reading financial markets, a skill that can be truly amazing in terms of the actual results that you get in your account. If you use a chart that's displaying Japanese candlesticks, yes, that can really help you to see the patterns. And yes, they are a great way of displaying price action data. But what you really want to see with these candles are the patterns that show if the market is forming a trend or a correction. If you do this and you master it, you will develop a refined skill in your chart reading ability. And then you can become a master of trading and get consistent profit that is considered top-notch amazing in the industry. If you want to find out what really works in trading, just go to www.tradingmastermind.com or click on the link we have in the description below 
which will take you to a page where you can sign up for our free professional trading course. And soon you will discover what really works for you. Now I have made another video about the topic of how to read financial markets. You can watch that video right over here.